Hey everyone, last night I just slept over at Walmart in Delaware because the nearest Walmart to where we're going did not allow overnight sleeping in Pennsylvania. So, right now we are heading back into Pennsylvania. It is about to be the crack of dawn. We are heading to explore the Slayton Farm School. The Slayton Farm School was a place for juveniles who broke the law. They would go there and work after being sentenced by a judge. It officially closed in 2001, and ever since it has been completely abandoned. We're going to go explore that place today and see what there is. I was there yesterday, but it was pretty late and we would not have had the time to explore it. And places like that, usually it's kind of suspicious leaving a vehicle parked, but thankfully there's a public park right next to it where we can be. Now this is what I call awesome. Parking spaces right next to the old farm school. Right there, see those? There you can see a barn that's all crushed by years of neglect. Wow, it is a beautiful day. We are right outside of Philadelphia and it's 62 degrees. Where I slept last night did not get below 65. Yep, that was, and if you guys know me, I did not have the best night of sleep. Look at this, a perfect trail going right into the abandoned farm school. Not a single no trespassing sign on this side. There was just a couple of yellow posted signs in the front of the building out by their main gate, which I think is kind of cool because those yellow posted signs are nothing official or anything. Although I have seen other people's videos where they have been asked to leave by a security guard. But that was about it. Take a look at this old barn. Now most of these buildings I know we're not going to be able to get inside. They are completely boarded up. But just walking around the old campus is going to be exciting. And I think it's such a shame that these buildings are left to rot and nobody bought them because you see how they're all built out of stone. Very beautiful buildings. Take a look at this, completely collapsed. I was in the area, so I just had to try to get this place on camera a bit. Let's go over here and look at this red building. Look at the old water tower on the property over there. Right here is a very dilapidated building. Another dilapidated building to the left.
there's still lots of hay and stuff in this barn or grass clippings. Looks like somebody just cut out a bunch of the beams. I would not be surprised if someone did that just for firewood. Maybe we'll go peek in that red building in a bit. You hear all the beautiful tree frogs? Alright, we gotta get back out near the main road, which is on the other side of this place. Because there's some pretty cool buildings over there, like the dormitory, and there's an abandoned church. I think that's the dormitory, that big building right in the middle of the screen. This is kind of creepy. There's this dead animal here with the bones like ripped out of the skin. Lots of Canadian geese flying around. Most of these buildings actually have doorways that are wide open into them. Just waiting for the sun to come up a little bit more before we venture into any of them. We just made it up to the church. And as far as that Jeep that was driving around with the loud exhaust. He has a flashing yellow light on the back of his vehicle, but didn't say a word. Just drove by me slowly. This church is way bigger in person than it looked online. gigantic building with a slate roof. It looks like it's in perfect condition, this building. Other than a uh, couple of busted windows. Well, that's a way in. A very scary way in. Oh my gosh, the door is just wide open here. Perfect. Anyone in here?
Anyone down here? Just exploring. Got a smashed toilet in there. Hello? Almost every window in here is busted. And there is such a gust of wind going through that door I just came in through. It's all leaving through that staircase. Hear that? There's noises upstairs. We're going to try to go back up that way. Hello? There's a scary hole. We gotta look in there. Not much. That is the room underneath the main entryway underneath the state uh, steeple. Now that I've been through a good amount of the building, I'm not as nervous. We're back up to the main floor. Here's that entryway I was talking about, right above there. Here's the front door. See someone's tried to smash it with an ax, but wasn't very successful. Uh, here's a beautiful shot of the whole place. I wish I had brighter lights, but I do not. This place is so cool. It's also very musty. Here's a staircase going up into the steeple. Hello? Very musty up here. That's what it is. It's not musty. It's the smell of smoke. Look at people burning books. That's what this is. People are lighting books on fire. There's a toilet in there. More storage. Here's a good view. Woo! All right, let's see what else we can find around this building. I gotta say, this building is still in awesome shape. Wouldn't take much to save it. Of course, it's got to be gutted, but it's a beautiful brick building with a slate roof. There's not that much that needs to be done to it. Ooh. That was pretty cool. And it is raining a lot outside now. 
like it just started as we walked out the door. A very rainy day. That's why I didn't wait around any longer to start filming because it's not gonna get much lighter than this outside. All the windows in that building are boarded up. So it wasn't gonna get much better than what my camera light could illuminate in there. What will be our next building to go in? I gotta choose one fast, it's raining a lot. It's starting to pour. Let's see if we can get in this building. Wow, it's a good downpour happening right now. I don't see the security Jeep dude anywhere. And the door is wide open, it looks like. Look at that, there's a basketball court right behind the building. Let me wipe off the lenses. Does that make a good difference? Yep. Wow, look at the wind coming out of here. Hello? Nice stainless steel showers in here with zip tie curtain rings. Hello, we're just exploring. So this building looks like it was all offices. that there's thunder outside we're exploring an abandoned building during a thunderstorm it doesn't get any scarier than that hello Just exploring. Here's the boiler room. I 
All right, I've had enough of this basement. Let's go up to the second floor of the building. We gotta figure out where that is. Ooh, thunder. Nope, wrong way. So this was the kitchen, look at that thing. Got the hood above the stove. All right, now where would we find the stairs? Hello? We're just exploring. At least there's lots of light up here from all the windows not being boarded up. Hello? There's the church. I am so not used to this weather. It's rainy, hot, and humid. So not used to this coming from Maine. It's too early not to have snow. That's so weird, the bathroom stall, how it's separating the room but coming out here. More shower stalls. Look at this, we got a bed in here. There's so much wind blowing through this building making noises. It's very creepy actually. Right here, it looks like a lot of water damage when it starts raining more. Another bathroom. Look at this, we got more rooms where people actually would have stayed. Got a bureau, beds. A bureau, more beds. And I think that guy with the Jeep out there definitely is a security guard. I can't believe he didn't say a word and he circled this building a couple times. He drove right by me outside. Now that I've been through basically the whole building, it suddenly becomes not as scary. Although we didn't check every room. All right. That was kind of fun. Every time there's a gust of wind, it's kind of thrilling because it makes noises everywhere. It scares you. 
Look at the paint falling off the ceiling. That is so cool. That water falling kind of sounded like footprints, footsteps. Heading back out. So I think this was one of the dormitories that I wanted to explore. Fire escape is really cool looking. Hear all that thunder? Wow. So right there, those windows right up there were the dormitories we were just in, is what I'm calling them. Okay, look, the roof is almost in perfect condition. This building, honestly, is still in great condition. That is where I was showing you the ceiling with all that leaking water in the hallway where I said that when it really starts raining, it would start dripping right there. You can see the roof is just completely destroyed in that spot. We have a white building over there, which doesn't look like much, but these buildings are amazing. These stone buildings are so cool. Now you saw when we went in the basement, this is the open bulkhead. Is it a bulkhead or is it just a stairwell? In an old building like this, wow, of course it's a stairwell. That is so cool. Got some Canadian geese. Somebody threw a sink outside. Yep. Beautiful cast iron sink. Right out that window probably someone just smashed it right through. Hear those uh, dripping sounds on that metal trim. That's what I thought was footsteps on the inside. Look at this, we got flowers coming up already. Let's go across the street and see what this building is. You see, there's a basement window open right there. It's really small and we would have to crawl through it. But I want a very quick exit because you never know who could be in here. Wide open. dripping water right here. The trim where this little corridor hits the building is probably destroyed. Gotta walk through that water. I wonder if these are asbestos tile floors. Hello? We're just exploring. Take a look at all the papers. Wow. What a cool building. They don't build schools like this anymore. Shelves and closets built right in for all the supplies. These buildings have such character, just like the old school I used to go to as a kid that was built in the 1800s. Look at this, we got a classroom with chairs. And look at this, there's actual blackboards. I remember I had those in elementary school and by the time I was in second grade, they had screwed whiteboards over all of them. Look at these old light fixtures. This dark woodwork and closets. This is so cool. Somebody sat here probably in the middle of the night drawing on this stuff. 
Looking at the old radiator. Emergency procedures. Wow, we're in actual we're in an actual school. I've never explored an abandoned school before. And I gotta say this is really cool. I found out about this place just yesterday. That's why I didn't do much research except I know it was abandoned completely in 2001. And there was another middle school that I wanted to explore in Philadelphia, but I thought because it's in the actual city, There'd probably be a lot of people in there, potentially homeless, drug addicts, you know. And I thought it was too much of a risk to actually go in. But that building was massive, the one I wanted to explore. But despite the doors being wide open, I didn't want to go in there. Wow. See how it's a little wet? Yep, look right above me. Obviously, water comes out of there when it rains a lot. This is very nice. I love this building. I really wish they would save these things before they're a total loss. I know they're damaged a lot, but these are very strong buildings. I absolutely love seeing this stuff. Amazing place. Does any of the stuff on these uh, blackboards look like it was actually written from the school? To, to me, it looks like people probably just brought their own chalk, huh? It's amazing. Every wall has chalkboards. Here's the bathroom. Sinks. Lots of poop in that toilet. Also, lots of poop. All right, going out. I did not see a way into that one's basement. It's probably external, maybe. Well, that scared me for a minute. I didn't realize we were that close to the main road. I bet there's a door in the back where it's level. Hello? Hello? We're just exploring. There's absolutely no echo in this building. It's really eerie. Paper is just thrown everywhere. Lots of dripping water. We gotta keep in mind, look at that. Not gonna walk through there, look at that. The floor just caved in from water. And you see somebody threw a table over it so they could walk through there. You could tell that building was made afterwards they were probably running out of space like see that's also an addition there that we didn't walk in here's the basement we were just in that room upstairs that's the one where i looked at the ceiling where it was dripping 
Here's the boiler room. Well, you can see this room is often full of water. See the rust on the bottom of it? And you see how people put this wood all over the place? And look, there's the sump pump pit. Wow, I zoomed in way too much. There we are. Yeah, this camera, I have to change out the lens every single time I zoom in or out if I want actual optical because it doesn't look good with digital zoom. And this is a completely different building. I wonder what that was used for. And look at this. Oh, there's a way in here. Very creepy way in. There's an open door up there. Doors wide open. But be careful, this building is not built very well. It's probably rotting very fast. It's a modern building, they collapse fast, unlike these others. Oh, look at that. Collapsed right on the roof. For a minute, I thought this whole thing was collapsed. I didn't, I forgot they were separate buildings coming around because I couldn't see the roof line through these bushes. For a second I thought that was a lot worse. Yeah, you see rotting water has already destroyed this building. I don't want to step inside. I see lots of classroom chairs in the other room and some toilets. So these were just extra classrooms it looks like. Yeah, look at this modern building. So much termite damage. That's all termite damage and rot. Just falling apart. While the stone buildings look absolutely perfect. They have slate roofs. And the only places they're failing, it seems to be, are where the roof changes angles. I don't know what you call that exactly. But that's where the failures all are. If it wasn't for that, these things would still be standing hundreds of years without any maintenance, just falling apart things inside from the humidity, paint peeling off. Oop. But because they are able to rot at those joints, eventually that's gonna spread and lead to the roofs collapsing. But the walls would still be standing many hundreds of years on their own. If these buildings were simple and only had you know, a roof with no dormers, that would make them almost invincible. We have two more, wow, three more huge structures. The one in front of us there, I see has a lot of roof damage. And this one right here is the one the security guy was parked in front of for a while. Wow, this is just like a neighborhood walking through a bunch of mansions. I'm walking on the sidewalk, gigantic grassy area before the road. And look at this giant tank. Was that probably an oil tank to run the furnace? And look at the beautiful weeping willow tree. Or is that a weeping cherry tree because it's pink? So this building looks pretty secured from the front. Nope. Uh, that is a way in, but I'm gonna see if we can find a better way in than just that window. The building across the street really is rotting a lot. The whole awning on the front of the building has collapsed. Not a way in up there. Looks like wide open. Yep. That awning right there is starting to rot a lot also. It's not raining as much anymore. 
which is a good thing. All right, let's head in. Now that we're going into, what is this, our fourth building? Suddenly it's not as scary anymore. Bigfoot obviously ripped this off. Hello? We're just exploring. Look at this fireplace. Somebody tried to have a fire right there. It's amazing there's no smoke damage to the ceiling. I thought that went around the corner for a minute. My hands are actually getting numb just holding the tripod, not because they're cold, just from that one position so long. Because I have you guys on the end of a tripod with lights, more showers. Look at this, this is a hospital mattress, just like the one I use for camping, but mine's green. I love those things, they're waterproof. Oh my gosh, look at the rot damage right there. And it looks like it's next to a chimney, maybe? I think there's probably flashing and that's where it failed. Wow. Hello? We're just exploring. I gotta say that wind is actually pretty scary because it's making things move around. Ooh, another emergency exit we could go out if we had to. Another massive kitchen. A lot of mold in there. Somebody who lit this couch on fire. That was scary. I remember a while back in a motel, it was really scary, a door with the that mechanism that shuts it. I opened it and it didn't shut for like 20 minutes. Then it suddenly slammed shut with so much force. I love these corridors with the metal handles, railings. Look at this. A sink, probably for a janitor. So many more rooms. Bathroom, look at all the water damage from blowing wind. Hey everyone, you wanna see something very, very scary? Look at this. We'll try going up there in a minute. Look at the water damage. We're gonna find that up there. 
And I bet it's coming from a dormer. There are so many rooms. Room after room. Where the people would have been. More showers, toilet. A red mattress. And we're coming to the end of the hall. All boarded up. I wonder if the end of the hall there's a fire escape. That's what I'm thinking. These buildings only seem to have one main stairwell since they're so old. I don't think they required multiple exits back then. I could be completely wrong now. I'm very scared now. Hello? We're just exploring. See this? Somebody probably took the thing from the exit sign to use as a stencil. Hello? These stairs are so steep. Yep, I was right. Look, it's leaking right there at one of those joints. This is so scary. But look, nothing else is leaking. The daylight you see is completely normal through the ridge vent. Creepy old attic. Look at that little window over there. Wow, scary. Completely dry. Look at the ridge vent. Yeah, water can definitely get through there. The ridge cap is actually gone. But amazingly, barely any damage because water's not being fed into it. It's just lightly sprinkling in here sometimes. I love this building so much. It has so much character. I, I, I really wish I had a building that was built like this. Not as big, but built like this. It wouldn't even matter if it was as big. You just don't heat it. You just don't heat it all. You just use it as like a barn for storage. These things are so big and they require very little maintenance. Can you see how steep this place is? This staircase is very, very steep. As you guys know, I haven't explored anything this huge in a very long time. So uh, you saw it first when I was going in that church. It's a little bit nervous at first. But now I'm starting to build my guts again for going in these places. Not as, whoa, not, not, not as scared anymore. Anyone in there? I think that door is rattling where the fire escape is. Yeah, it's not gonna open. A little more leaking water in the corner when it does rain a lot. Or when it's concentrated from snow from dripping on it you know, when it has a long time to seep down into things. All right, I think we've had enough fun with this building. We're on our way out. Oh my gosh, this corridor is so awesome. I know this is technically a commercial building, but this would make such a good house. I love commercial things like this. They're just built so well. Look at that fire bell. That's awesome. You know, a while back I wanted to actually wire one of them things up as a doorbell. All right, on the big camera light, we amazingly have half of our battery left. So let's go see what else we can explore. 
and I don't know where the security guard went, but he went right by me. He definitely knows I'm here, but he's not saying anything. And unless the guy's on foot, he's really not sneaky. He has one of those loud exhaust pipes on that Jeep. I don't know where it went. And I don't even know if that was a security guard or just another explorer. It had flashing lights on it, on the back of it. It had like, you ever see on a lot of times pickup trucks, that long light bar that they use as a tail light? It looked like that, but it was yellow and it kept with stripes moving out back in like that rapidly. It was a weird strobe light. So maybe it wasn't. Got another massive building here. Look at this. Let's go take a look at that. A tree fell on it. And it barely caused any damage because it's such a strong building. Barely any damage. I just checked my, my storage because I'm, I'm recording this today in 4K, 60 frames per second. Just because this place might not be here much longer. And look at, look at that, look at all that. All the slate is like completely shearing up. Like it got blown off or something in the wind. So that's a very thin slate roof. Yeah, look, here's a bunch of the shingles. Yeah, I can see how the wind could catch that. They are fairly heavy though. Look how dark it is underneath that bush. All boarded up. I think I could squeeze through that left door. The plywood's kind of coming off. Wow, it's a porch. It's so dark in here. Not a way in though. So I'm not seeing a way in this one. Damn it. This place is like exploring an actual neighborhood. This one right here, I know that we can probably get in. The main gate is right around this corner and I actually drove in here yesterday. You know, I could have driven my vehicle in this whole place since the gate, it's just the gate across the road. There's a very clear mark where everyone just drives around it. But I didn't do that. Yeah, you see right here? Look at those very fresh tire tracks since the rain. Somebody just drove through here, and it looks like Jeep tracks. Very aggressive tires, and there's the way in. Look at that nice screen room. Ooh. Hello? Hello?
Just exploring. Hello? I'm just exploring. Oh, is this door? Creepy basement again. There's a fair amount of water damage in this building. And look at that grand staircase. Hello? We're just exploring. Wow. Water damage galore right there. So much water damage in this place. Coming out into the porch. This porch is above the main entrance. Look at all that water damage over on the sides. And there's the gate I was talking about. Look at that beautiful forest of bamboo. That looks so amazing. A lot of glass in there. Lots of desks, so this was more of an office building. I don't think anyone stayed in here. Watch that thing slam and scare me. Buildings like this have a lot of loose doors, and there's a gigantic wind blowing through here. So every time the wind has a gust, the room drastically changes in temperature. Look at that. That is what's gonna lead to this building's demise. Another stairwell going upstairs. Ooh, the attic. Hello? Real creepy room. Can someone tell me, is this building dark like this? It's just because it's old, right? Or did they stain all that? Or is it preserved somehow? Is it just a kind of dark wood it was built with? I'm not really sure. All right, 
back out. Look at the beautiful railing it used to have before people smashed it. Can't believe that places like this don't get preserved when they're in good condition. Yep, this is the way out, I remember. It's becoming that time of year again. We're gonna have to start wearing masks inside these places. Well, I could have just came down that way. That's the stairs that we just followed up into the attic. Because this time of year, I can smell it. Now that it's raining and getting warmer out, Mold is becoming very active. I am very satisfied by the footage we're getting in here. Let's see if we can get inside any other buildings before we call it a day. That right there looks like a 500 gallon oil tank. That's really cool how there's a window in the middle of the chimney. I think it's cool that there's a 500 gallon oil tank there because they obviously converted this building at some point. I imagine it probably burned wood, most of these, just looking at the chimneys and stuff, right? I'm not sure how old these buildings are, honestly. They may have had coal burning when they first began. Now this building looks like a residential house. When I watched a brief video of this place last night by the proper people, they only appeared to be able to find their way in one building. Back then it was very secured compared to now. This place is just becoming more dilapidated it's a lot more dilapidated than the videos I looked at and pictures I saw of the place. So this house. I did see a window wide open, but I don't see a good way to get in there. So let's just go in a few of the easy ones. That door's open. That will be our way in if we don't find a better way. It's raining a good amount. The basement door's open. So I wonder if that security guard guards most multiple properties and he left. Got clearance right up onto the roof right there. Looks like a bomb went off and just blew that window out. The stone is all destroyed around it. Someone threw a sink out that window. We were inside that building over there, right? All right, everyone, let's give this a shot. Oh, this is so scary, going up through all these vines. That was so tight. Water damage right off the bat. Hello? Hello? Just exploring.
bathrooms. So this is another dormitory. That's what all these rooms are. Hello? Here's that one I said they threw the sink out of. Hello? Now this building actually smells very clean compared to the other ones that were musty. The reason I'm recording today in 60 frames per second is because I'm going fast. And I'm hoping that if I want to look at something later while watching this, I can pause it anywhere I want. Be able to read things or zoom in. And there's not much in this building. This isn't gonna last much longer. I'm starting to have to badly use the bathroom. And that's the basement. I can't get that open. I could if I really wanted. Now it's getting musty. Look at this. That is VHS tape everywhere. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Right underneath the paneling, got this brick building. Right there, water damage going into the basement. A lot of water damage here. Look at all this mortar from the bricks falling apart. Oh my gosh, this building back here is completely destroyed. Look at that. Everything fell off the wall. Wow. What do you guys think? I think this is the most awesome building I've ever explored. Hear that noise of the dripping water? being inconsistent. That's kind of scary sometimes. Hear that door up there slamming? Exactly where I gotta go. Hello? Who? another door wide open. I wonder if that's the one that slammed. I think we're, nope, we're not. I was about to say that. Look at this, we're right above the building with all the damage. And I can see why there's so much damage. 
Let's get our lights off. Don't need to be wasting them here. And I'm going out this way because it's different. You see right here, someone put a piece of plywood because I'm assuming there's a gigantic hole underneath here. So this is where all the damage is along that wall in that room, see? The flat roof just failed and all everything's being directed towards it. Wow, this is so cool. Got a bird's eye view up here. These are some heavy duty stairs. They're not moving. They're not even vibrating walking on them. That's some very, very thick steel. That is so cool. All right, we can maybe go to that red barn where we first started after we explore this. This looks like a pretty boring building, honestly. Definitely built after the fact, those other ones. So, I told you again, I didn't really research this place because I just came here on a whim since I was already in the area. It turns out it's the perfect day. Rainy, dreary, thunderstorms earlier. I'm gonna turn my brightness all the way up and look at this. Yeah, this is gonna look a lot better than I thought because I have my brightness all the way down conserving. I only have 30% left. Completely fell down. And I don't, I don't see any fire damage. It's amazing that some of these buildings just fell down. That the structure just collapsed. That's pretty dangerous to be out here at night. There's like a eight foot hole right there. We went around this way before. This is like the first spot you saw me peek in. And I still don't really want to go in there. There's a lot of water damage. Look at this. Somebody recently moved a whole ton of rocks to get in there. This is the same building I just peeked in the side of. Got a door wide open here. Looks like more classrooms. As you can see, I still don't really want to walk in here. The floor is all crooked and soft. So much dripping water. Just made my way through those pricker bushes. And there's actually more buildings. Like that one you cannot even see on Google Maps. It's so grown in. And look at this tree just fell down. That has certainly broken a bunch of those shingles. And that means water damage is going to follow. So we have not been inside this gigantic building yet. This is one of the first ones I came across but it was too dark to even look for a way in at that time. Just looking around for a wide open door. Look at all the flowering trees. It's beautiful. Looks like a heavy trail going in here. I can tell that's locked. Yeah. You can see people with a crowbar trying to open that up I 
another basketball court. This building is absolutely huge. There's a window, which might be an option, depending on how far down it drops and easeability getting back out. The chair. Wow, it's so cold in there. Old basements always smell like this. It's, uh, you can always smell fuel oil in them because those things, a lot of them leaked back in the day. That's what I'm smelling in there. A lot of oil. Wow, the damage on this one. And look at this tree. Just broke in all different directions. It can't be this easy, right? But it is. A lot of water damage. This whole building is destroyed. Whole place, you can tell, gets dripping water. Hello? It's like a lunch room. Some, pe some people were just in here, I can tell you. I smell fresh spray paint strong. Hello? We're just exploring. This is definitely a lunchroom. Look at this. Was this like the line where kids would wait? Or is this just a ramp for wheelchairs? That makes me feel better. We have a second way out now. I'm, I'm always, you always got to keep in mind, you never know who could be in here, what kind of animal could be in here. All right, we are not on a ground floor. There is still a basement under here. Look at this refrigeration unit just torn apart with someone stealing copper. Gigantic kitchen. Nasty, nasty grease underneath there. Battery's getting a little low on the camera light. And we still have almost the same amount of camera power. One thing that I am specifically looking for in this place, there was a whole video game arcade in here that was really cool. I've seen other people's videos. And we've been through almost every building, so it's got to be in here or one of those couple that was completely boarded up or with just tiny little window slots. But I don't think it was. 
those people's videos, it was accessible very. But I think it's probably boarded up more since then. So this is a cafeteria. Oh my gosh, that brings back memories. Folding lunch tables. I forgot schools had those. I remember the ones that were, you know, like picnic tables with benches. And they folded up because my school wasn't a big building. And they had to fold them up to use the cafeteria as a gym. These ones with the round seats I had in my high school and they were horrible. Couldn't fit as many people on one thing which I guess to some people that's a good thing and some it was a bad thing, but it seemed like the cafeteria never had enough space. Look at this. The whole porch just collapsed. So this is the front of the building. Wow, the roof is actually still a little intact. Never would have imagined it was that bad looking at it from the front. Just got to be careful. Walking around in here. I don't see much water damage right now. But, I, you know, I can tell this place does see water. Look at the ceiling. When it rains a lot, water is all over this floor. I have not happened to see the stairs yet. This is by far the worst off building. I don't think I want to get a second light if we do find the stairs. Yeah, I got a headlamp I'm just gonna hold. So this is another exit we gotta remember. And here we go. Pretty easy. Very bright here. This is all rotted out. Anyone up here? We're just exploring. What the heck is this? These bolts look so new. For lock combination. So it's saying to text that and like they tell you where the key is. That is really creepy. Knowing that there is probably a key in here somewhere. Wow, this room is amazing looking. Look at all that deterioration. Look at that, another dormitory room. Got vines creeping in here. And look at this porch. This is just like the one we saw that collapsed. This one's not far behind, look at that. Look at the ceiling. A big snowstorm and this is gonna come down just like the one right there which had the floor collapse. Leave in the comments what you think about this. This is very weird, don't you think? Stay out. Like somebody broke in the building to, with a screwdriver and locked that room up. That creeps me out a lot. What could be in there? A lot of water damage and the radiator in there playing dead. Anyone in here? We're just exploring. Look at that water damage. All the plaster of Paris falling all over everything. 
looks like the whole room is melting. Wow, that room goes down super far above the cafeteria. No, the, above the kitchen. More beds. These ones don't have metal frames. Look at this, another staircase. All dilapidated. Want to stay away from that. Still doing all right on the camera light. Still saying I got two, two out of five bars of power. When we drop down to one, I want to start heading out. Because that'll mean we don't have much of our light left. I guess this is a better mode, right? No, that doesn't really help without the beam. I want the beam so I can shine it around in all the rooms. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So much damage. Woodpecker outside. We are right above the room with the collapse. I don't know what that means. Look at this. Wow. Oh my gosh. And look, the beams up there are still very strong. What are those? Like four by something? They're huge beams. And the asphalt or tar roof just completely failed. Here are all the Canadian geese outside. Alright, let's see if there's a way to get to the attic where all the dormers are. Let's look in here first. Just gotta remember our way out. Because we're probably not gonna find another. Is this more... more dorms? Yup. That's kind of like a kitchen, right? This one might not have a way to the attic. See, it's got this gigantic blower fan. Yeah, look at this vent. Huge blower fan used to blow down into the hallway. Look at that. That gable vent also blew off. Meaning water can just come right down. Here's the laundry room. See a dryer. Here's the washer. Bathroom. Look at this. Here's that weird toilet coming out into the room away from the rest again. This is all dorms. What's that say? I'll read that after. Oh my gosh. That smelled so bad walking back through the hallway. I released a stinky one on my way down there. Oh, well, look at that. That is so cool. Look at the woodpecker holes. That's actually not cool. Because the woodpecker is probably going after some kind of invasive bug. Well, it's good that the woodpecker's eating them, but it's not good that it's actually there. Now, we're heading back down to that creepy locked room. I don't see a way into the attic except these hatches that are on the ceilings. Oh, that's another fan. See, that opens up. Oh, there we go. We do have access to the creepy attic. Hello? Look at all the owl droppings, I think. Ceiling's very short. 
I love this building with all these little crevices. If it wasn't for the leaking roof, it'd still be in great shape. So this looks like where they were storing things. It's just storage. Toilet. This room is, it is finished up here amazingly, unlike the others. There's actually plaster walls. We're not going to go any further. It's about the same stuff. Oh, we just dropped down to that point I told you about. But we're still going to go in the barn and stuff where we don't need as much uh, battery life because we're not going to be deep into a building like this again. You know why I'm crawling in here? Because we're above that room that's locked. I just want to peek the camera down there. You tell me what you guys see. While editing, flip this camera around. Good thing I didn't drop my camera because I would not get that back. I'm pretty sure that was the room. Was that room? This building is so cool. Look at this little tiny room here. And they actually plastered and finished it. And look at this. Look at this walkway going over to the window so you could open it, maybe to ventilate it. So this, this right here, this walkway proves there was never a floor here. But they actually plastered it. I love this place with all the storage rooms. Yeah, see lots of poops. I think that was maybe an owl. And here's another view down into that locked room. There's literally nothing in this locked room. There's that door with the lock on it. But it does go into other places, it looks like. Crawling back out. Yeah, so I think that person probably did that just to see how many people would call. You saw that, and there's a, a walkway that goes over into another room. Do not enter, bet. Damn, it doesn't go far. It's probably just a closet, what we saw. But I don't think there's anything in there. No, I don't. It's just someone being creepy. Camera light's about to go off. This is the way out. It was actually nicer inside the building because it's cold in there. Out here, it's warm and humid. I liked being in there. You know, I've always thought it would be cool to own a building like that because of all the little nooks and crannies that are all over the place. I love buildings that have all those secret little rooms. Like you saw how there was an attic on top of another attic. I love all those crawl spaces and those old buildings that actually had walkways between the walls. Those places are so awesome. And you know, all the time, I do find big structures like that on, on uh, realty websites for really cheap because they're dilapidated similar to this. But the majority of these buildings, that deterioration would come to a halt if they just had a new roof put on or minor repairs to some of these buildings. And then you just live in like 10% of the building and the rest of it, you don't have to heat, it's just storage. I always thought that would be very cool. These buildings are so big. Each one of these, just one of them alone would drive you broke so fast if you had to pay for the heating. 
We're gonna go for a walk. I actually forgot. There's another building down there. There are a couple of deer in these bushes. I saw them when I first came in here and it startled me. I thought they were people walking, but there are deer. I gotta keep that in mind. We're going over near this water tower. Here's another little tiny shack in the woods. There's also a beautiful greenhouse out here I can show later. Oh wow, there's an in-ground swimming pool. There's another little shack there. And look at the water tower. We're gonna try to look at this building underneath it. Right underneath this place is water tower. This is probably how the campus got their water pressure. And what do you think's down here? A gigantic well maybe? You see, people have, have definitely been going up there. I see toe straps, ropes. Somebody even put this ladder here. It all looks pretty safe, but I don't want to go up there. Even with that thing, you could probably fall down there. But that uh, thing around the ladder is so you can lean your back against it, I think, to take breaks. This building is pretty awesome looking. Very dilapidated, falling apart. But that's only the wood in front of it. Take a look at the back. What do you think this was? Those doors look like maybe where a horse-drawn carriage would go through. I've seen similar things at fire departments that were around back then. Hey, we can actually get a peek in here. Oh, that building out, does that have a basement? Oh, I don't think that is a basement underneath that. I'm wondering what this building was used for. We have a whole bunch of little shacks behind it. Let's just take a peek in just one of them. We are running out of time. It smells so strong of mouse pee in there. Right now I'm trying to find my way down to the in-ground pool. I'm having to go through these pricker bushes, but thankfully everything's pushed down from the snow during the winter. This property is gorgeous. I know these buildings, they are very destined to be demolished. But because they're brick buildings and they're so strong, that is probably the reason why no one's really doing anything with the property. It would cost so much to rip them down, just like when we went to Concrete City. The only reason that exists is because they tried actually blowing it up with a hundred sticks of dynamite and they were unable to significantly damage one of the concrete buildings just because they're so strong. I'm gonna see if I can walk around this and look for a gate or a way in or it's just as good looking over the top, right? I think that was just as good. Even though I've been in here a couple hours, we have not even explored nearly half of this place. We only went in some of the rooms of some of the buildings. And this I'm believing was what stables, because it was a farm school. That first building there is the one we saw at the very beginning of the video with the hay in it. That part of the barn collapsed. And now I'm looking for the greenhouse which I know is around here somewhere. Let's just take a quick peek inside this building. I think we did earlier, maybe. No, we did not. It's just a barn with a lot of water damage. Got an old push mower. 
So there was no way to get into the second floor. The whole rest of that building appears to be boarded up. And um, let's go up this trail. I can tell by the trails, a lot of people frequent this building. Beautiful stone barn. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. I just got to, got to take a picture of the side of that. You see the hoist? This is so beautiful. I want to see if we can find a way inside the stone barn. And I just found our way in. If you hear all those voices, since we got here almost three hours ago, a lot of people showed up to the park. Hello? We're just exploring. A lot of the floors in this barn collapsed. Very wet. The smell of animal pee. Yeah, the roof of this barn is destroyed. Dripping water. A lot of mold. I can smell it. I don't want to venture far into this one. And that looks like possible asbestos. What a shame. Look at the barn just collapsed. Yeah, I didn't realize that was the building we first saw on the way in here. I did see that right at the beginning. Up here is a tree with beautiful flowers. Now that I'm really not exploring the buildings anymore, I'm just going to take one more walk through the campus and try to get some really nice pictures of the place since I didn't really do that before. Oh my gosh, we got to go in here. Wow, this area is beautiful. Look at the flowers all over the ground. I completely forgot about the greenhouse. Like, completely. Wow! The floor's rotted, but... It's okay enough to walk on. Abandoned greenhouse. This is like the first impression I got of the place when I pulled in the park last night before I had time to explore. This is so awesome. I've always wanted a greenhouse or some kind of sunroom that could be used for growing because when you got a building like this attached to a house you can open the door and let the heat in in the winter time look at the radiators going all the way around it it's like you know homemade it looks like just they would run steam through that amazing and look at that gigantic tree up, up against the bamboo forest. Got another push lawnmower. There's lawnmowers everywhere on this property. I've seen probably a dozen of them so far. And here's a little shack where somebody probably pulled that out of. And what do we have here? Bunch of holes for maybe a groundhog or something. It smells like a skunk in there, so I don't want to go near those. Skunks don't live underground, do they? Or do they reuse animal holes? I'm not sure. I know they used to live underneath the porch when I was a kid. Look at this bamboo forest. It's like going to visit Asia or something. Wow, I've never experienced this in my life. Whoa. It's so dark in here. This is awesome. I love bamboo. These, these things keep their leaves through the winter, don't they? It's so dark in the bamboo forest. Oh my gosh. How invasive is this stuff? Because every time I see it, it's only in small patches like this. But this is by far the biggest patch I've ever seen in real life. I've thought about putting some of that on my property to block the road. And from my research, they say it's not invasive like knotweed, as far as spreading out of control, but once it's established, it's very hard to get rid of. Take a look at this. Is this a little pond, or maybe used to be a fountain, right outside the greenhouse? It's not very deep. It's 
only a couple inches deep. And there's benches up there on the hill. This would have been a beautiful courtyard. Look at this place with all the yellow flowers. This place is stunning. I really wish some billionaire would buy this and just save it for any purpose. It's amazing. Back up to the bamboo forest. And what is this? Maybe another greenhouse, just an outdoor sitting area. I don't see anything rotting around, so it looks like it was maybe just beams, or in its later days it was. Maybe it used to be a barn or something way before the place even shut down. I just want to take a peek in this window. We haven't gone in this one yet. I want to go back down to the church. I have 19% power left. Just want to see it. Oh my God, I can't resist. Go in there. Look at this first aid kit. No? Is that what, the, is that, what that is? Anyone up there? I gotta remember this camera light is telling me it's gonna die. This step is broken. Yeah, don't. Wow, just dropped a bunch of junk. All right, it is not safe to go in this building. The floor is very soft, dripping. But I got in here. Imagine how hard it would be to get furniture up corners like that. Beautiful stove. It, that reminds me, my dad had a corner like that in his house that was built in the 1940s. And when he got his queen size bed up there, you know, he never could have got one of those modern mattresses that's like 14 inches thick up there. He had to coil it up with two of his strong friends, put st ratchet straps around it to tighten it up, then he could bring it up the stairs. Very hard to get things in these buildings. We got to go back to that church. We didn't have full daylight when we were back at that church this morning, so I want to walk back down there. Look at these Canadian geese. We heard a bunch of them squawking as they were flying overhead earlier. I'll talk to you guys later once I take some pictures of the church. I don't have much power left on this thing. <laughs> Having a zoom lens makes a big difference recording. I'm so glad I upgraded to this phone that actually has up to 20 time optical zoom. And I got like, I think a hundred time digital zoom on top of that, which is amazing. That's awesome. That gigantic church in this place. I wonder if this place used to be a religious school before it was a farm school to have that here or if this just used to be like a little town like were these mansions back in the day I'm not sure because this place seems to have its own school and just about everything else we have not been to that warehouse yet I'll take a quick walk over there I'm not sure how my angles are coming out in this kind of dreary weather, but this church is beautiful. I wanna maybe take another look inside before we head out. Now that it's a little brighter out, although I don't think it'll make a difference because the church is all boarded up. Anyways, we didn't look in this room, I don't think, but I think we were in here though. Lots of chairs, a lot of chairs. 
There's another organ. We saw an organ upstairs. I know we did. The security guy is driving around again in here. But, yeah, he 100% knows I'm here. He went right by me earlier. Maybe my eyes are better, but I also am a lot more com confident now exploring than I was earlier. I'm not scared of this place at all anymore. I know my way around. My memory is very good at remembering things like mazes and stuff. I'll never get lost in a building like this again. Woo! Now this building, when I, I, I'm gonna tell you it's musty in here, but it's not mold or anything. The walls in here are concrete. There's not much to grow mold. It's all wood pews. I'm smelling fire. People have been burning this place, having fires in here all the time. And I'm so glad I came back the little bit of light coming out of the windows absolutely helps. Is there a way to get up inside of any of this? Look at these massive speakers. I think right there is the stairwell we just came out of, right? And there should be a way up top there. Uh, I do not see a way up. No, I guess you had to go up there with a ladder. I remember a church I used to go to when I was a kid. They would actually baptize people up inside this thing. They had like a tub up in there and they'd walk people through on certain days. No, not this place. chandeliers yeah look up you see these busted chandeliers with the candles people throwing stuff at them breaking them most of them have fallen off completely look at these nice church pews these could be easily saved and refinished and remember people burning books upstairs that's why it smells like smoke I've not we were down in the basement earlier not going to go down there again. And there was no way to actually go in the steeple without a ladder. I'm not worrying about at all running out of battery life. Yeah, look at this. We could barely see in here earlier before the sun completely came up. Look at all these books people burned. Beautiful view of the area. Look at that. Look at all the poop, pigeons, owls, things hanging out in here. So what are people burning? New adult resources. I don't think any of it is Bibles. Not that I'm seeing. I'm seeing music notes, toilet in there. We didn't peek in the closet. So you cannot see inside the steeple. There's no way to get inside it. Look at that. That's just the pitch of the entryway. You see, this camera does have a way of brightening things, like I just did now. It doesn't help that much, but it is good for taking a picture. But the reason I don't use it much is because it really overexposes when you get near lights. It doesn't seem to be doing it right now. It's actually working pretty decent, but you see how zoomed in it is? 
it won't let me use panoramic or anything in this mode, which is needed for going around corners. Yeah, I think this footage is awesome, actually. I'm so glad this place was just wide open. That is just fantastic. Just fantastic. There is cassette tape all over the place that people just ripped out. All right, we're going back outside. I am doing very well as far as battery life on the camera. I am just so used to my old camera, which didn't have as big of a battery life. If I was using this kind of quality with my old camera, we would not have got through this place. All right, going inside this building. What is it? Completely destroyed. It looks like a gymnasium. Yep. 100% a gymnasium. And look at the wood floor. It's completely rotted. Oh, my big camera light's about to die. It's flashing. If I turn it down a little bit, I turn it down to half and I got two bars of power left in that mode. Look at this. Look at the wood floor just completely rotting. It looks like maybe it was also burned on fire. There's a roller skate. It's a gymnasium. This is cool. This is so cool. And can you tell, look at the air. This whole place is mist. It's misty in here. There's no basement. So I don't have to worry about falling through a floor. I just want to tread very lightly because there's definitely probably nails that were holding down the wood floor. Let's go see if we can find like a locker room or something in here. Got to be careful walking over this wood. Although it is tongue and groove. I'm not seeing any. Yeah, there's definitely nails holding that together. These are the locker rooms. Look at this, the workout room. I see a bench press, other things. Here's the showers. Very collapsed roof. This building doesn't smell like mold because there's really not much that can grow mold. Mold doesn't explode on wood. It explodes on things like sheetrock. And the majority of these buildings don't have sheetrock. They have plaster. It's not a good place for it to grow. It can't grow on plaster. It's inert. And behind the plaster is lath board, which can grow it, but with extreme difficulty. Here's an office for the janitor, or I mean the gym teacher. Look at this. What do you think somebody was using these snips for? That was not just there and no one stole it. Somebody was using that for something. Here's the boiler room. Looks like a gigantic fuel oil furnace. There's a very moldy couch, a desk. Yep, definitely a gym teacher office. Got some shoes, an old fan. And look at this, a come along. And the come along, it's in perfect shape, except, yeah, it's in perfect shape. That's something else someone made to put on. Why is there a come along in here? Oh, they're trying to pull, I think, this wire out of there. See this? When I was doing electrical work for years, um, this stuff here is actually so expensive. It's like maybe $6 a foot now these days. That's why they're trying to pull that stuff out of the conduit. That's what the conduit's for, or the come along is for. But why do they leave their come along here? I think they're coming right back to get more. 
You see, they snipped all the copper wire out of all the stuff. And I just don't understand people like that. If they're that capable of pulling copper out of a building, which is very labor intensive, and they probably spend a whole night in here vandalizing and scrapping, and they probably make less money than if they just got a minimum wage job. I find that amazing that people just destroy things like that. Look at this floor. This is cool. Good holla. Just coming up. Lots of dripping water. Let's go outside again. All right, this place is very, you see, it's like all off-road stuff. That's why the security guard has a Jeep. He actually just drove near me and put his window down. And he said, how's it going? Which was really weird. I did not expect that. But I didn't expect, I did not expect him to be mad either because I've seen him a couple times in the past couple hours I've been in here. And he just told me, well, have a good time. That guy doesn't care. That's amazing. Right now we're into a basketball court. Look at all these picnic tables. It's amazing. Those things barely rotted. Wow. You see how the roof on the steeple, the church, is starting to fall apart? That is the beginning of the end for that. That's going to start rotting pretty fast. I see all the metal up there flapping back and forth. So I'm going to head back inside this church, and I want to try taking a few high-quality pictures with the shutter. Look at that, 1964, it says on the church. I would have imagined the way it's built out of stone, this thing would be way older. So I just went back into the church just to get a couple long exposure shots and I did a few shots that were 30 seconds long and they actually didn't come out as good as the three second shots, which was weird. And right now it is absolutely pouring out. I'm gonna be so soaked. Yeah, I'm gonna be absolutely soaked. But it is so humid out and it is also warm it's like 70 degrees out today this is super duper warm i don't even care look at this another groundhog hole i think that's exactly what that is i used to have those in the yard and i relocated them because they are horrible to have in your vegetable garden i remember my dad's neighbor had those they had a strawberry patch that was so big the woodchucks couldn't even make a dent in it so they didn't really care all right, everyone, I'm going to call it a day. We have photographed every single building. We've got to go inside most of them. Honestly, every single building is open in some way. I just didn't want to crawl through a couple of the tight windows on certain ones. I don't encourage anyone to attempt to come here and do the same thing. This can be dangerous, and today we actually did get very lucky. The security guard was cool, but all it takes is a not-so-cool security guard that could have you arrested and spend a night in jail. That is a potential when exploring these places. I do take all responsibility and risks when I do this. So for that reason, I don't encourage anyone to attempt this. There's also lots of soft floors in these buildings. I've been doing this a very long time and I even used to work with a company that would salvage and take stuff out of buildings and from that company I learned a lot of things not to go in certain rooms. Despite sometimes it'll hold you, I was so scared to go in certain rooms where I said it was soft. There was probably a 90% chance it would have held me but that being said I don't want to try that. Don't want to fall through a floor in a building all alone. It's not a good idea. I am absolutely soaked every part of my body. The past half an hour, it's been raining extremely heavy here. 
Did we go in this part of the building? No, but it's also all collapsed. Not much to see there. We got to see most of this place. If I wanted to go inside every single room, I don't even think that could be done in a day. This place has probably thousands of rooms throughout these buildings. Each of the giant buildings alone have well over a hundred rooms. They're all at various stages of decay. Some of them have zero water damage, while others you don't even want to walk in. Look at all the groundhog holes. I wonder if this place does still have strawberries or something growing that they're eating. I see chives absolutely everywhere, but not much else. And we're still walking out of here with 12% battery. You know, last night I was actually thinking about, wow, this place, I, I almost didn't do it because it was gonna rain. I am so glad I followed through, slept overnight at Walmart and came here. There is a Walmart like five minutes away from here, but that store, I could tell just by judging the neighborhood that the manager was gonna tell me no. Because you are supposed to ask the manager to stay over at Walmart. Sometimes if I see campers and big rigs all over the place, I don't even bother because it's pretty obvious. Walmarts that don't have big parking lots, non-super Walmarts or inner city Walmarts, it's almost always a big no. Do not sleep there. If there's a security guard, it means they have trouble. It's always a no. But a Walmart in a country town, the manager always says yes. You always see campers. That's what I do. It saves me so much money when I'm traveling on these trips. Coming down here to Philadelphia, it's not the furthest place away from my house. Probably cost me, if I was just coming here, maybe 200 bucks in fuel. And I don't have to pay for a hotel or anything. I plan on going home tonight, which is about nine hours away. And I'm going to take a shower. I've been out exploring abandoned Pennsylvania for now six days straight. I haven't stopped at a hotel or anything. If it was summertime, I'd wash up in a river. Otherwise, just occasionally use wet wipes, sponge bath yourself, and you'd be amazed how much money you save while traveling just doing those simple, simple things. Hotels are like the most expensive thing while traveling, in my opinion. Some places you can get them as cheap as 40 bucks, and those are the ones I go to like maybe once a week on a long haul trip. But some places you can't find one under 100 bucks. So I just don't go to them unless I have to if it's really hot. I can't stand sleeping in the car if the overnight temperature is over 65. It's just not fun at all. Summer is coming soon, so that means it'll start becoming miserable going down south. But maybe next winter I want to explore the southern states when it's cold enough that all the venomous snakes and spiders are in hibernation. That'll be nice. I don't want to go as far as Florida for exploring purposes. I'll probably go there just to see it while I'm nearby, but I don't think I want to go any further south than, say, Georgia. Just because those venomous things don't go away. And they also don't get cold very long either. So when am I going to have to do that? Like January or December of next year maybe? I'll try exploring those states. I love exploring. It's my thing. It's what I do. And I hope today's video was interesting. Thanks for watching everyone. And have a great day. You see, this is exactly why that security guard is so nice and doesn't care. Look at the trail, how dense it is coming in through the park. And that's like one of a dozen trails here leading into it. Look at this, right from the bike trail. It's so open. You don't see any no trespassing signs. Every now and then you just see a posted sign, which is all faded. It's clearly a decade or two old. On the front of the property, there's not a single official sign. Not at all. There's like maybe one or two of those yellow signs out front which who knows could have been put up by the farm itself i can't believe this place is not posted severely with signs 
It's unbelievable. But I am used to New England. New England has messed up laws. If you get hurt in a place like that, you can sue that town for not putting signs up or fencing it in. But in a place like Pennsylvania, their laws won't let you do that. They have all those at your own risk laws, all that kind of stuff. And that's why I like Pennsylvania so much. There's so much cool stuff to explore in a place like this. And I guess it's raining too much. Everyone at the park is gone. I kept hearing a whistle. I think it was sports practice this Saturday. Today is April 1st. Happy April Fools, everyone. Let's get back on the road. I couldn't be happier that we got to explore this. I'm so happy. This was like one of the coolest place, places I've ever been. The property itself is so beautiful. It's amazing. I really wish somebody would try to save that thing as a farm. Multiple of those buildings could be repurposed as barns. That church, that thing's in almost perfect condition itself. So a lot of these buildings I think could be very easily saved. I love this place so much. Look at that, first tick of the year. I have not seen one before today. Certainly getting warmer out. I gotta check myself as soon as I get home. It is officially that season again. Ticks are coming out and I'm, there's probably more on me. I can't really check myself now except visually just looking over myself. I think I do actually still have bug spray in the car from last year, but it's that time of year again. If I'm walking through high grass, I'm gonna have to start putting it on as a precaution. Look at all the cars. None of these were here this morning. It looks like everyone's going back out onto the field. They just went in temporarily for the big blast of rain. Take the next left onto Forge Road, then turn right stopped. onto Old Forge Road. I am going to go take a look right now at that building I told you we actually came to the area for. I just want to show you some footage of the outside, but I don't think I'm going to want to go in it since it's actually in, in the 600 city. feet. Turn left onto Valley Road. All right, we are coming up on it. It should be visible around this corner. This city is very complicated. I'm not used to so many lanes and different directions. At least it's still pretty early on Saturday. It's only 10.30, so there's not that much traffic yet. All right, let's pull in here. There's the abandoned middle school. Wow. Can't drive in there, but take a look at it. Wow. Abandoned. I think they covered a lot of the graffiti so it wouldn't be an eyesore. You see how it's a dark brick building, but you see they did a paint job on it, obviously. In this place, if you look up that name, this building does not come up. They took it off Google Maps, I think, to stop people from coming here. It looks very secure right now. I drove by this place last night, and there was a door wide open on it somewhere. Look at that place, huge. If you're interested in that, there's lots of videos of people exploring in there. That is one massive school. The story is it closed in 2014 because there just wasn't enough kids going to it. They were supposed to shut it down by just phasing out one grade at a time and letting the kids complete their courses here, but plans were quickly sped up and it shut down and everyone was moved to a new school. And that building's not that old either was built in the 1970s. That's actually a pretty short life for a school and it looks like the basketball court is definitely still being used. Yeah, they even have a porta potty at it. They're still letting people use that. 
I, uh, I do see a door still open on that building. And I think we might be able to go on that road right there. All right, yeah, we did actually find a way around. And there's another abandoned school. Look at this. Look at that. Another abandoned school. And look at the graffiti all the way up into the third floor. All right, so here we are on the other side of that gigantic middle school. And it looks like we can actually drive down there where the basketball courts are. The gate's wide open. doesn't say we can't drive in there to the park. It looks like it was blocked off. I don't feel right driving here, so I'm going to do a three-point right here. I don't think I'm supposed to be driving on this area. But that, there's a gray door down there to the bottom right of the screen, which I see is cracked open. But I see that they actually covered up a lot of the graffiti since I saw the videos online. So I think that place is being patrolled and it's on top of. There's, obvi there's obvious graffiti that I'm seeing on top of the fresh coat of paint, but... So th there is definitely a way in there I'm seeing, but I'd rather not explore that place since we're in the dense city, unlike that place we just came from. It's amazing they just let that building go to waste like that. I think it's huge. And look at this one here. This building has so much character to it also. Massive building, also abandoned. This one here, I'm seeing bars all over the windows. Very well boarded up. So I don't think you're able to get in there anymore. But I do see graffiti all the way up on top. Yep, take a look at this place. Obviously there is a way up there. And look at the robin. This place is also very, very nasty being in the city. Look at all the trash. These, this place is disgusting. You know, the place where I just filmed those other giant buildings, that was very nice and maintained. This area is very gross. And this is the reason why I'd be worried even going in that building. But the, once again, amazingly, that gigantic high school does not have... I don't see any no trespassing signs anywhere on that property. You can just walk right up to it, it looks like. This building here, the brick building here, has a no trespassing sign way in the back. But nothing in the front. You can just easily squeeze through the chained up gate. But all that graffiti, none of it looks fresh on this building. I don't think anyone can get into it anymore. It looks a bit faded. And I'm wondering how people even got there to do it. Wow, 1926 that was built. Back when they used to make things very nice looking. About to go over the Delaware River.
Hey everyone, right now we are in Bridgeport, Connecticut because I wanted to come check out the abandoned Remington Arms building. I know that we can't go in it already. I just wanted to take a look at the outside of the building. That's what's to our left right here. Gates wide open. All those busted windows up there. Wow. Multiple floors are collapsed. I don't know if you could see that when I pulled in. The top two floors fell into down below. There's the famous Remington Tower right there. From The reason they built that is to be ornamental and also functional they say they would dr they would drop molten metal from the top of that tower and at that speed it was able to form into perfect discs yeah, that place literally is open and you could walk around the inside of it but it's so dilapidated I think that would be very dangerous to attempt that I'm going to turn around to get a better shot of it. Coming back from the other side. That building is still in very good condition, the tower. Hopefully they repurpose that. Just want to pull over right here for a moment. Very dilapidated.